Hello everyone, I am Adrija. Welcome back to my study room. In the previous video, we have already completed exercise 11.3. Now, we are going to start with exercise 11.4. So, let's solve question number 1. A garden is 90 meter long and 75 meter broad. You can see this is the garden which is 90 meter, length is 90 meter and breadth is 75 meter. A path 5 meter wide is to be built outside and around it. This is the path 5 meter wide, you can see 5 meter wide is to be built outside and around it. Find the area of the path. We need to find the area of this path. Also find the area of the garden in hectare. We also need to find the area of the garden but in hectare. Solution. First, first we need to find the area of the path. So area of the path is no shape, right? So for this what we are going to do, we are going to take out the area of the garden and the area of the garden with path. And then if we subtract the area of garden from the area of the garden with path, then we are going to get the path. So for this, first let's find out the area of the garden. Area of the garden is rectangle. What is the formula of area of a rectangle? It is length into breadth. Right? Now what is the length? 90 meter. What is the breadth? 75 meter. So 90 into 75. Meter square. 6750 meter square is the area of the garden. Now, area of the garden with path means the bigger rectangle. Rectangle, so L into B, length into breadth. Now, what is the length? See, we don't know the length and the breadth of the bigger rectangle, right? So, for this, what we are going to do? What is the length of the small rectangle of the garden? It is 90 meter. And how much wide is the path? It is 5 meter. So, 5 meter and 5 meter. Everywhere it is 5 meter, right? So, 5 meter and 5 meter, 90 meter. Now, if we add 90 meter, 5 meter and 5 meter, then we are going to get the length of the bigger rectangle, right? 90 plus 5 plus 5, right? So, 5 plus 5 is 10. So, 90 plus 10 meter will be the length of the bigger rectangle breadth also we are going to do same thing it is 75 meter and here is also 5 meter right so 5 and 5 75 plus 5 plus 5 we are going to get the breadth of the bigger bigger rectangle so 5 plus 5 is 10 again 75 plus 10 meter 90 plus 10 is 100, 75 plus 10 is 85. So the area of the garden width path is 8500 meter square. Now we need to find the area of the path. For this what we are going to do? Area of the garden width path minus area of the garden. We are going to get the area of the path. Area of the garden with path is what? 8500 meter square. 8500 meter square minus area of garden. It is 6750 meter square. Right? Then we are going to get the area of the path. One thousand seven hundred fifty meters square. This is the area of the path. Now, also find the area of the garden. 
of the garden in hectare we already know the area of the garden it is 6750 meter square but we need to convert this in hectare so area of garden in hectare is equal to now what is the area of garden in meter meter square it is 6750 right now for converting it into hectare we need to divide it by 100 into 100 meter square this you have to memorize okay we have to divide it by 100 into 100 meter square okay so zero zero will be cut meter square and meter square will also be cut and it will become hectare the symbol of hectare is h a i'm telling you so this will be 675 by 10 into 100 is 1000 right the symbol of hectare is h a small h and small a h a this is the symbol of hectare So what is six seven five five ten thousand? Six seven five. There are three zeros. The decimal will be before three digits. One two three. Here will be the decimal. So zero point six seven five hectare. This is the area of the garden in hectare. Okay. So with this, we have completed question number one of exercise eleven point four. In the next video, I am going to be back with question number two of exercise eleven point four. If you like this video, click on like button and to stay with me, please click on subscribe button. Thank you.